Hi guys, it's Vision Lights here. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. And if you've been rocking for a while, then what's up? So today's video, as you can see by the title, is six reasons why your eyeshadows is not blending correctly. This video is basically gonna be like how to blend like a pro for beginners type video. I'm gonna go step by step, go through all six tips. There's a couple bonus tips as well to kind of show you how to blend your eyeshadows correctly. Um, this is also a tutorial on this eye look as well. I figured I might as well kind of fuse the two together, show you how to blend correctly, and also show you this dope eyeshadow look. So if you're interested, thank you for watching, guys. So the first tip is setting concealer. So as most of you may know, I have dark eyelids. So I always make sure that I put concealer on before eyeshadow, but I also set it with powder. So setting your eyeshadow with powder is essential in making sure that your eyeshadows don't skip. And what I mean by skip is that you don't want to have your crease color be like a burnt orange and then you can see the harsh lines of the navy blue and then you can see the harsh lines of the gold and the green. Like it has to look seamless, it has to look like a gradient effect, it has to look blended. So I'm about to show you that tip. So like I just said, I'm going to be setting my concealer with powder. However, there's some people that like to set their whole lid with powder. I do not. I only like to set my crease and eyebrow. So I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder at Medium Deep. And I'm using the Morphe MB13 brush. It's like a flat brush like this that allows me to set just this area here. And I'll go down to my crease area just a bit. So my second tip is to invest in a really good eyeshadow primer. As long as it's a really good one that makes your eyeshadow stick. A point of an eyeshadow primer is to allow your eyeshadows to be true to color and to stick. Uh, so the choice is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and the color Caffeine. I prefer this color because it kind of looks like my concealer. Now I bet you're wondering what is the point of putting concealer and then um, an eyeshadow primer that kind of looks like my concealer in color. Just because my eyelids are naturally dark, as I said, I kind of use the concealer as a color corrector, if you will, um, to my eyelids and then put the eyeshadow primer on top um, for true to color. So my third tip is to invest in really good brushes. When I say invest, it doesn't mean expensive because I have really good affordable brushes. One of my best blending brushes is actually $1. So I think that it's best to go ahead and check out different brushes. There's different companies. There's Sigma, Morphe, Coastal Sense, Wet n Wild. So my most used and most favorite blending brushes. Um, the most affordable one that I have and is my favorite brush is the Wet n Wild blending brush, which looks like this. This is 99 cents, you get this from Dollar Tree. The Morphe 4 for 1 brush, it's a nice tapered brush here. I also like the Morphe M518 as well. Um, if you go on the Morphe website, they will describe to you the difference between the brushes and the purpose for the brushes. Some of them are detail brushes, blending brushes, fluffy blending brushes, um, dense blushing brushes dense blending brushes. There's different terms that is important to know. I also have the Morphe E18, which is a really small brush as you see here. And it's really good for detailing um, your outer V. This brush is what I used in the tutorial, which is the MR37 brush. It's a very tapered brush, but it's also really flat, which allowed me to get into this area here and blend. The Morphe B 13, this is a really big fluffy brush. This allows you to just like quickly you know blend and my last favorite brush is not that affordable as Morphe but if you want to invest a little bit splurge a little bit Sigma um, small tapered blending brush the E45 this brush is amazing as you see it's tapered extremely pointy and this is really good with detailing work as well so it is important it is an important it is important to invest in a couple good brushes um, just so your blending game isn't streaked um, and also make sure you have really good quality hairs because you don't want to be blending and then the hairs are coming out on your face. Like, that's not cute. So tip number four, I know um, people hate when I include, like, cliches, stupid tips like this, but 
The reason why your eyeshadows aren't blending correctly is because you're not patient. You're kind of blending in a hurry. You kind of expect the color to pay off to be as pigmented as this as soon as you put it on. That's not the case. You're going to be blending for a couple minutes at a time for each color. Keep in mind that you're going to be blending for a while and to get the color payoff like this, it takes a while. So patience is key. So tip number five is to hold your brush correctly. Save this brush here. People, people think that they should hold the brush like this when it's not the case. You don't want to hold the brush here. I don't remember what this is called, this thing, but there's a name for it. Gristle? I don't know. There's a name for this part, the silver part. Don't hold your brushes here. The reason why you don't ever want to hold your brushes right at that part is because when you go ahead and blend, it'll be too hard. It'll be way too harsh of a color, too much pressure, and it'll be so much harder to blend seamlessly, blend away. So, the proper way to hold a brush, so this is your brush, is to grab it by the end here, in between your pointer finger and your middle finger, kind of like this, and your thumb's holding it. And then you're gonna push your pinky up and then you're gonna apply brush. And the reason why you do that is that you apply less pressure, which means you apply less color, and it's easier to blend seamlessly. The reason why I say pinky up is that when you have your pinky up, you kind of trick yourself into into thinking you have less fingers touching it and you have a more delicate finger. And it's cute, you know. Put your finger up and blend. It's a little cute. Why not? My sixth tip is to do correct motions. There's going to be circular motions, windshield wiper motions, and padding motions. Those all have different meanings and different reasons as to why you do it pertaining to eyeshadow. Now, to apply your color, again, your pinky's up. You're going to start off by patting on the color. When you want to build intensity, you always make sure you pat the color on. When you want to blend the color, you go in circular motions. Then you go windshield wiper mo movements. This is to keep the color in this concentrated area. You see how the color is going right into my crease? Because that's where I want it to go. And so this goes back to my very first tip where the setting of the concealer comes in. Because you see how I naturally have my concealer here and I set it with powder. Now my crease color can't go above that because I've already set it and it's just fusing into one. So I'm going to continue with this eye look. I'm going to go into my Lorac Mega 3 Pro Palette. I'm going to go into this deep color right here, DK Navy. And the brush that we're going to use today is the Morphe R37. So when you're trying to apply um, your brush into your color. Make sure you're not dipping too hard. So again, you're going to hold the brush the same way you're applying it. Pinkies up. You're going to dab, dab, dab. And you're going to tap off the excess. That's very important too. So that's a bonus tip for y'all. Bonus, bonus. Alright. So again, we're going to start off with tapping. If you find that, it's always better to start off a little at a time so you don't get overwhelmed. So again, you're going to tap. And you're gonna pat the color on. When you're ready, you can start blending. So again, pinkies up. You're not gonna be all up, you know, blending in circles all the way to your eyebrows. Keep it to where you want it to be. So I want this color to be a little bit lower than my crease color, but I don't want my crease color to show. I guess this is another tip. <laughs> Make sure you always blend colors together. Don't just blend your crease color, then blend your outer color, and think they're fused together. You have to actually fuse them together. You have to make them marry. You're forcing marriage upon them. So now we're going to go into the Anastasia Prism Palette. These colors are so gorgeous. So we're going to dip into Sphinx as our lid color. When putting your eyeshadows on your lid, it is a tapping motion tap and swipe motion so tap and like drag so now we need to blend this part right here the dark blue with the gold take a little bit more of the dark blue and you're gonna go and fuse the two so you're gonna go back and forth around the edges the back and forth 
and you're gonna notice your gold is kind of like going away you're gonna apply more again when you blend you blend the color away you add more and to finish off this look I am doing my inner corner highlight and it's something that you also have to make sure is blended so we're gonna go back into the Anastasia prism palette and we're gonna go into the color sphere and we're gonna use a little brush like this we're gonna dab into the inner corner we're also gonna drag it up to blend with the gold okay so this is the final look guys I just wanted to show you how seamless it looks how blended it looks so that is all the tips that I have for you guys today I hope that helped you um, to blend like a pro just remember those six tips and those couple other bonus ones that I just threw in there and you'll be blending like a pro in no time go ahead and check out my other videos I have a lot of other beginner friendly makeup videos um, pertaining to like what makeup you should splurge on um, best concealers best foundations etc etc also make sure you check out my blog my blog where i kind of put a little bit more details in terms of my favorite eyeshadows reviews for concealers that i've done etc so go ahead and just check the description bar don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also share this video so other people can know how to blend like a pro as well we all gotta be beat so why not just share the goodness you know i'll catch you in the next one bye